Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Monster Girl Quest Paradox. Last time, we cleared out the bandits in the cave south of here to get our crystal, and we upgraded our equipment. Now, all that's left of part one is the ruins to get gnome, and then Tartarus. So, let's get going. Heading to Gnome, starting with the Alice route. So these are the Safar Desert Ruins. Gnome is somewhere here, right? We have done everything we had to in this region aside from the Taurus Rift. Now, let's look for Gnome and contract with her. Let's see, there should be two monsters here we recruit for Alice and two for Ilias. Well, these two are actually the ones for Ilias. And yes, I'd smash both of them, I love their designs. They look so cute! Alright. Talk. Let's see. Uh, let's start with the Desert Scylla. I think she is a rare mob. Alright, Miranda, what have you got for us? How about Heat Wave? Liru? How about the Assassin's Throw on the Desert Scylla? And Lynn? And now Falcon Slash. We'll focus the Desert Scylla down first. I'll give you lots of squeezing! <laughs> One thrust, one kill! Ha! Oh! <laughs> it actually got her! I hate this! I upgrade the blade of a falcon onto your body! That's not good. Yeah, I think that's a new skill you got. You didn't have that originally. Nice cut in for Miranda. Alright. Let's see. I guess Gale Thrust. She's a ghost, she's, so she's going to be immune to death. I'll just do Trick Knight. And... Let's shoot a double edge cut, make sure we finish her off. There's no school for ghosts! I don't have a job! Sounds nice. <laughs> oh. That's an unfortunate miss. Asky flames cleanse this world! Well, at least it's fire elemental, so the dragon's taking the damage. Alright, Lin and 
Hero and Lynn are both blinded. That's why they missed. Alright. Let's attack. Let's attack. Let's attack. I play with them sometimes. Hide and seek is so fun! Well, well, there goes Luca. <laughs> but he'll be back. It's fine. Alright, talk. Ultra, Ultra Dragon Slash. Breath. Let's use Fire Breath, since you're blinded. Breath. Fire Breath. Oh wait, no. Flame Breath. Ghost, but I scraped my knee. Can you give me a back hurt? Yes. Yay, thank you so very much. <laughs> I love her, she's so bubbly. What? She's immune to fire? No, she's not. <laughs> All right, Monaco has reached level twenty-three. Not quite as clean as I would have liked it, but we made it through. No one got knocked out. I call it a win. the doll. Let's just circle it. Take it. Doll again. Wait! Come back! Do not need the Scylla or the Ghost. I said I do not need the Scylla or the Ghost. Hey, no! <laughs> Orange Airstone. So, uh, and ghosts are on scene so far, though. Torches Sacrifice. Gaia Hammer. Nice. Small metal. I'll take it. Ah, the sandworm girl. There she is. Alright. Talk. And let's do an Ultra Dragon Slash. Dagger Assassin Throw. So, Blizzard. Been a long time since I 
once I talk to someone I don't know. Alright, nice damage at least. Looking around dazed. Alright, she hits hard, but she doesn't take actions very often. Talk. Let's try Curse God Slash. Assassin Throw. Sword. Falcon Slash. Sandworm was looking this way. Not bad. How'd you miss? <laughs> Here I go. Oof. Oh, nice counter! <laughs> Rain is kicking ass! Ultra Dragon Slash. Assassin Throw. Double Edge Cut. Why have these ruins fallen apart? Did two sandworms have a fight? Possibly that's not it. Gnome did it. I did it! I think possibly is what she likes best. Possibly. I knew that was it. Not bad. Looking around in confusion. Attack. 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 Water. Want. Looks around in confusion. All this struggling is making me hungry. I'll suck out your stuff. Sandworm girl opens her mouth wide and catches Luca. Her warm mouth wraps around him from the waist down. Let out your stuff. Struggle. Luca struggles violently and escapes from the sandworm girl's mouth. Ultra Dragon Slash. Dagger. Let's do Trick Knife. Actually, not a Rapid Knife Throw is uh, more effective. Double Edge Cut. Let's finish this. Sleepy. Now that sword, power, and trade for my body! Ow. Alright. This is a pretty good team for here. So I went down there. Oh, it's a group of three, so I'll fight them. Hawk. Heat wave. Or would Cyclone Blade be better? This one does more damage. 
Uh, I think they are weak to wind being undead, so Cyclone Blade. Let's just do breath. Flame breath. Breath. Flame breath. Cows don't need money! Please give this to someone who's alive. One, two, huh, should just have her use fl uh, flame breath. <laughs> uh -huh. The Gale Thrush should finish her off. Lost as a meaning a strange aura. It's interesting. Do you want it? Got some ghost hair. Dodge. That's not nice. There we go. Easy peasy. Claws. I don't need the Mirage Girls anymore. We only need the Ant Lion and the Sandworm. There's the Ant Lion. Alright. Talk. I think Dead Crash works well enough on you. Assassin's throw. Falcon slash. I'm hungry. Hey, could you give me some chicken? Want to uh, give a bird foot? Yes. <laughs> As a reward, I'll give you plenty of blood. Assassin throw and ice slash. Do you think I get along with any desert monsters? You ain't got any friends! Yeah, don't get along with any monsters. Besides, I'm a solitary monster. I don't get lonely. Damn, you should have been prey. I think she, yeah, drew her last breath. Okay, so instant death does get her. Right. So far, so good. There's nothing up this way, so. <laughs> Y'all are going. The pincers on my lower body are very strong. Do you know how strong? Enough to never release my waist. Enough to cut paper. Enough to split a star in half. <laughs> Enough to never release my waist. Yeah, the strength of a human can never defeat them. You won't be able to pull out your rod from my sucking mouth. And you'll be sucked completely dry. I'm an ant lion girl. 
What do you think I'll become when I get bigger? So, uh... However you say that, uh, is what a normal ant lions turn into. It's basically a flying insect that they turn into. But, she is a monster girl, and this is her adult form, so nothing will change. Yeah, so you know. This is our adult stage. We won't get any bigger. Alright, fine. <laughs> Maho has reached level 23. Oh, and you joined us! If I'm with you, I'll probably get a lot of prey. You could be the best bait of all. Alright, the man just rides back up, wants to join your party. And their companion? Yes! <laughs> I'll have my pick of all the prey I can squeeze. Of course! I'll save you for last. Alright. Now, Bisu, it's your time to go. Alright. Ellen joins us. Yggdrasil leaf. Insect malt. This is a honey pot. I believe over here is where Gnome is. Yep. There's Gnome, so we'll deal with her in a bit. You have a sandworm to catch. Grape, I give. Maybe a grape. Oh, interesting cut in. Isn't this a big hat? I got it from No. It suits you. It doesn't suit you. I also got one from No. Uh, it suits you. <laughs> Money, yummy, give me. Want to give uh, that much money? Yes. I'm happy. I think she might be max now. Luca has reached level 30. And likely level 31 before we finish part 1. Shizuku has reached level 24. Lin has reached level 23. Oh, no join. Ah, there we go. With you, I want to go. There's a fan. Yes. Nice to meet you. Alright. Shizuku, it's your time to go. Damn, girl's huge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to come this way. See the defense. Very hard. Reckless mask. Perhaps you have to side me and finish all of our errands in this area. Let's go be a gnome! Alright. Starting, uh... Here we are, starting with the Ilias route. Desert Scylla. She w 
will be joining the Ilya stream. Julia. Lane Lily. Iron Maiden. Huh? A banana! Gimme, gimme! You have a banana? Yes. Yay! Thank you! You won't be able to see a thing! Dust Cloud. Alright, she's bound. And there she goes. Resistant to pleasure being undead, so... Let's try Scylla. Or Lamia. Let's do Lamia. I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's do both. Nightmare Embrace. You have a lovely meets in the graveyard at night! What do you do at night? Train, read, have a athletic meets in the graveyard, have sex. You're pretty energetic, huh? Will you share your stuff with me too? Well, our main's been incapacitated. Julia's been incapacitated. been bound there one's been silenced so I guess we keep going as is I'm a ghost but I still want to let loose and play can you give me some money yes yay thank you very much wait you're already silenced how <laughs> I guess. Oh, no, it was sealed. <laughs> you shouldn't have been able to cast silence while you're silenced. That ain't fair. Alright, let's do ma- I can't do magic silence while silence? We can still do tackle, though. How about me revive Julia? Those are so easy to get lost in, aren't they? They are, they aren't. My mind is a desert. I think she likes this one the best. Oh, that's kind of amazing! It's so empty! Great, she broke free from the binding. Scylla. Drain Worm. I was a dancer when I was alive. A really klutzy one, though. I'm assuming you died in an accident. Nice dodges. Oh, 
train more. Focus on Mirage Girl. My mind is a desert. I thought you had more energy than that. Oh well, you're fine. It's no big deal. Ah, and she joined us. Hey, could you take me with you too, please? Looks like she wants to join. As a companion, yes. Yay! I'll do my best! Alright. Who is leaving? Patra, it's your time to go. Train one and dead for another. Alright. Now we need the Desert Scylla. Why is the Mirage Girl so excitable? Regular ghost girls are much more gloomy. It's just her nature. Because of her environment. It's actually just bravado. Uh, I guess it's just her nature. It was childish to begin with. Was she an airhead dancer? Mirage dances to and fro! Speaking of... <laughs> Because of her environment? So it's the desert after all. It's because there's no moisture to dampen her spirit, isn't it? Ah, oh, there we go. She likes the answer. It's the desert. Right, well, she didn't join us yet. Let's see a defense. There we are. Reckless Mask. I hate Lamias. Do you know why? It's because they wriggle. Yeah, that's right. Why do they have to be so disgusting? I really want to wrap around you. <laughs> Maiden has reached level 22. Still no join, huh? Do you know what Desert Scylla eat? Excluding stuff, obviously. Of course we eat that. Meat, fruit, sand, sandworms, fruit. Yeah, fruit is my favorite. I pick bananas near the oasis. A phoenix tail can be handy in a pinch. It's a present because we became friends. Orange earth stone. Goes no one doll again. Oh, well, I don't have anything to open these. <laughs> Small metals, take it. Alright, the Ant Lion Girl, we do need to fight one of you at least. Let's see. Try Scylla. Try the Lamia. You do the curse dance. Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? I like to munch on plants every now and then. Hey, could you give me some Anto grass? Get some ando grass? Yes. <laughs> As a reward, I'll give you plenty of love.
This girl's not having a good time. She's basically under every stats ailment. I mean, there's no point to really waste more mana. Worm caress. Worm caress. Ghost slips. There's no saving prey that are sucked by me. I suck their bodily fluids until they wither away. Alright. Julia's reached level 22. Sandworm Girl appears. Alright. These things can be bound surprisingly, so silly yet. Silla. And curse dance. She is spaced out. to be the same size as everyone else. Give me a lucky mallet. Oh now you know, lucky mallets cure minimal, not to <laughs> set it. But sure. I'm happy. from the binding. Should be fine. Summoning Scylla. Drain Worm. We do frost. Sandworm smile. Smile back. Stare at her and make a funny face. Smile back. Sandworm seems to like you more. Ow. Alright, now we just need to recruit the Desert Scylla. Can't open that. <laughs> Come on, Desert Scylla, where are you? This is a honey pot. Alright. Mom is actually pretty timid. She probably won't meet with strangers. Luca has reached level 28. Lily has reached level 23. Still no join from the desert Scylla. Today I had to fight over territory with an antlion girl. This girl's been nests everywhere. When it's hot out, we hide in the sand. Of course, if any antlion girls show up, we fight them. I've never been outside the desert. Hey, what's a fun place? The beach, the forest, my house. <laughs> the forest. Uh, I want to go. There are lots of trees there, right? My man has reached level 23. Anna has reached level 23. Ah, and the desert still joins us. 
<laughs> May I go with you as well? As a companion, yes. Well then, nice to meet you. Mr. Silla has joined the party. All right. Anna, it's your time to go. Well, actually, really, it's Masuko, so. Masuko, it's your time to go. Alright, now for the Sonyless route. Desert Scylla. Alright. I guess we'll do Frost. Lucia. Sunning Lamia. Salon. Ninja Art Water Veil. Something about the world feels strange. Can you feel it too? I can't feel it. I can't feel it. I'm traveling because of it. Huh? Amazing! That might be a bit interesting. <laughs> there goes Witchy. Everyone targets Witchy! can't be defeated like this. I hate losing the humans. That's why I'm going to use temptation. Ah, don't you want to be played with by these tentacles? Uh, those tentacles specifically? Not really. I like your upper half, not much your lower one. Oh, my tentacles look very comfortable. No matter what kind of rod you have, it'll make you finish immediately. Ignore her. Warm caress. I know my big tail. Doing all this way must have cost a lot of money. All right, you can have this. Give me some money. Frost, Sony, Lamia, Attack, Desert Scylla. Traveling because of it. Always witchy! Scylla and Mirage Girl. That's Mirage Girl. Mega Blue. Uh, yeah, we'll do Mega Blizzard. Summoning Lamia. Jisoo Ninja Art War Veil. burn easily so please don't use fire magic please don't okay that's both of you attacking witchy why does everyone hate witchy Alright. 
good now. Suck out your stuff, okay? Alright. Saki has reached level 25. Tofu. Oh, a miracle drug. Only groups we need the five to a group of three mirages. The sandworm. A sacrifice. Gaia Hammer. Small metal. Need one more small metal. Oh, here's the Saiyan Lion. Or Ant Lion. Not Saiyan Lion. Whatever. I guess we just do Holy Rod. Oh, actually... Do Frost. Summoning... Bind... And draw our War Veil. Pray got caught in this quicksand. I mean, pray get caught in this quicksand. They sing to me and become my food. Alright. She's done. long to live. You poor thing, liar. I don't have long to live either. Liar. <laughs> you could tell. I'm not like normal ant lion insects. sword and water veil hey can I have some money sometimes I want to go visit a nearby village 
<laughs> As a reward, I'll give you plenty of love. Damn, you should have been prey. Alright, just the group of three mirages and the sand. Beast claws. There's a group of three mirages. Mega Blizzard. Lamia, Ninja Art, Water Veil. You picked up a so dark magic. You'll make me depressed. I'll give it to you. Alright, they're all stunned, so it's fine. Help me, I'm gonna die! You're already dead. I'll service you with this bias, so could you please forgive me? Ignore her. So, Lamia. Attack. Mirage Girl B. I'm the spirit of a girl who died in the desert. I'm a sad ghost. You poor thing. I envy you. I don't care. You poor thing. But Dyke is surprisingly liberating. I can fly through the sky. Lucia has reached level 23. Sarah has reached level 23. Alright. Usually we just need the sandworm girl. Pink Leotard. Insect Molt. Alright, just the sandworm girl. There she is. Alright. Talk. Uh, yes, Frost. Scylla. Larveil. I hurt my finger. Give me an herb. Yes, I'm happy. Alright, she's bound. She ain't doing anything. Weapon, holy rod. Tackle, worm caress, or actually drain worm. Attack. Roll around. Can I? Okay, don't. I'll roll around. Uh, okay. Roll, roll. Magic Frost, Tentacle Drain Worm, and Jisoo Water Veil. Uh, 
Okay, roll around. Ow. Alright. Great for pain. Lucas reached level 29. Alright, excellent. Oh, Panty Sensei got some presents for you. He show Mirage Girl's cheap panties to Panty Sensei. These feel like a fleeing image. They're cheerful yet hollow panties. By the way, did you know? Human dreams are very fleet a very fleeing thing. No. It it was just a thought. Mirage Girl. A ghost type monster that appears in the desert. Like most girls, she is unusually friendly with a bright personality and is active even during the daytime. However, her thirst for human stuff is no different, and she often attacks travelers who are wandering in the desert. Her lower body is intangible and cannot interact with humans, but she can still use her mouth, hands, and chest to extract stuff. By caressing, by caressing a man's parts, she can uh, cause finishes that force out a large amount of stuff. She usually won't try to take away your life, but if you're weakened in the desert, encountering her may prove to be a dangerous situation. To be deceived by a mirage and drown in pleasure, your will to resist is like a mirage as well, non-existent. The mirage girl is a ghost-type monster. As it is with all ghosts, she will attack with HP absorption skills and fire. She's not very strong, so she shouldn't give you any trouble at all. However, when encountered in a group, their evasion could prove troublesome. Since she is a ghost, all fire-based skills are effective against her. She's also weak to water-based attacks because she's a desert-dwelling monster. She's susceptible to sleep and confusion. It might be smart to try those if more than one of them show up. Now go, oh brave Luca. Show that mirage girl, she's nothing more than an illusion. Antlion Girl. An insect-based monster that lives mainly in the desert. She creates a cone-shaped nest in the ground to catch unsuspecting travelers in order to squeeze out their body fluids. Preferring stuff, she will use her massive scissors to lock the man's waist in place as she sucks everything out. Once her catch has been completely dry, she will dispose of their dry corpse in the desert. Although her trap is extremely dangerous, her body is very fragile. The only way to escape it is to quickly defeat her before you're brought in too far. Though it's called an antlion girl, it looks like a doodle bug. However, for the monster antlion girl, this is her adult form. Receive evaluation. Squeezed dry by the antlion girl? How oh, disgraceful! It is impossible to escape from her quicksand. The antlion girl can use powerful binding and HP absorbing skills. On top of that, she has a pirate white earth attack. Because she dwells in the desert, she is weak to water. Our elements work on her, so make use of them as much as you can. Like other insect monsters, she is vulnerable to stas ailments. You have a much easier time if you use blind and confusion on her. She always appears alone, so she'll be easy to deal with. If you inflict stas ailments on her, she won't be much of a threat. Now go, oh brave Luca. Destroy that monster who traps unsuspecting travelers. Sandworm. A huge monster that lives in arid regions. It usually hides under the sand, but when it senses the vibrations of a mo moving human, it will attack them. Forcing the man into her mouth, she will suck on them like a piece of candy. Her giant tongue can quickly force a man to finish. Once the man has reached finish, she will begin to use her tongue to suck and lick up all the stuff, forcing the man to continually finish. Once she sucks out everything from the man, she will burrow back under the sand to await her next meal. Though she is very slow and absent-minded, you cannot care be careless around her. Most desert monsters really suck up men's fluids to, for, 
to sl slake their thirst. Most desert monsters grew at least second men's fluids to sate their thirst. Great care needs to be taken when traveling through a desert since being caught by a monster usually entails certain death. Receive evaluation. Try it up again. You really like being left dry. The sandworm girl is a very strong enemy, a giant. She can attack your whole party with her Megaton press attack, dealing heavy damage. However, she often gets distracted and does not attack. Despite that, it doesn't make her less threatening. Star ailments generally work on her. It is best to blind her. Make use of war elemental attacks since they deal heavy damage to her. Give her given her high defense, she is a very difficult opponent to beat. Now go, oh brave Luca. Destroy every desert monster that attacks unsuspecting travelers. Desert Scylla A subspecies of Scylla adapted to the desert. She is able to swim freely in the shifting sands and can make the sand flow at her whim. Due to living in the harsh desert, she always needs moisture, which she acquires by capturing human prey with her tentacles, as the person is unable to move in the flowing sand. Prey is scarce in the desert, so every drop of fluid from their prey will be squeezed out. If her prey happens to be a strong man, she may engage in air course with him. She will hold her opponent down with her tentacles and pull him towards the reproductive hole on her center of her lower body. The inner walls of her reproductive hole move like they're massaging him, encouraging the release of stuff. This does not stop until all of his stuff has been extracted, leaving the pitiful prey dry and exhausted in the desert cilia's embrace. Receive evaluation. Once again, something is drying in the sun of this desert. That something moaning at the center of the world is you. The desert Scylla uses technical skills. She also uses earth elemental and blinding skills. How annoying. Her offensive potential is quite troublesome, but her defense is brittle. Status ailments can also do a job. Her resistances are average, with only the earth element really standing out. Conversely, a denizen, as a denizen of the desert, will always be weak against fire elemental attacks. Now go, oh moaning one. This time, I'd like to hear the cry of victory.